So you downloaded Diamond 3 d but now you're not sure which Blender version you want because there's a lot of argument going on of Blender 3 or other versions of Blender being non-supported in Armour 3D. So let me just break everything down for you in this one video. Now in the world of Blender there is, well, Blender versions, there's the Blender LTS versions, and then there's forked Blender versions. Now I'm going to break all those down, but the LTS version is the one that you want, the one that you want to look into. Now you can find the LTS versions of Blender by going on to Blender website, download, and then you'll see the LTS. It's a little bit hidden. Now I'm 3D is supposed to be built on top of the LTS, the latest LTS versions. So download the latest one and download the latest SDK for Army 3D and you should have a working add-on that you can make full games inside of Blender with. However, you might notice that the LTS versions of Blender, long-term support versions, aren't up to date with the current versions of Blender, which currently, as of recording, is 3.1. And the reason being, the LTS versions are a, uh, well, a version of Blender that is kept for two or three years, I believe, and it essentially has no new uh, features being implemented every new release. Instead, they only focus on bug fixes. And those bug fixes allow you to have a program that runs smoothly and well for big projects because you don't want these new features to come and mess up your current workflow. You just grab the LTS version and therefore all your, pro all your files and all the work they've done in the past year or so in your big project will be constantly up to date with the Blender versions and you won't have any troubles with new features. And that is essentially the concept of the LTS versions, mainly for big projects or big studios. And the reason this is so good for Armour 3D is because Armour 3D takes a long time to develop and if there's a new feature that's been released inside the Blender every couple of months then that means the team behind Armour 3D, or more like the community, have to work to adapt Armour 3D to fit Blender every single month instead of focusing on bettering the game engine. So that is why we stick to the LTS versions. Now a quick note before I leave, there are a few questions that have been asked over the months about forked versions of Blender, namely B4 Artists or UPBGE. Now I want to make it really clear, UPBGE is not a Blender version. It is a program in its own right now and it is focused about making games, so it's not Blender. So if you try implementing Armour 3D inside of it, it will not work because everything has been modified, things have been moved around. There's a reason we use Blender LTS versions and not standard versions. And that's because a few minor new features will come completely mess up Army 3D. And if you have an entire different program, it's gonna not be able to be used with Army 3D whatsoever. And with B4 Artists, as far as I'm aware, you cannot use it, use it with Army 3D because it's a completely different interface and the things that Army 3D are gonna be looking for won't be in the right place or have been modified. So those forked versions of Blender are off the charts. You should only be aware of the Blender LTS versions. I hope that answered all questions you had and I hope this uh, helps you not ask those questions continuously in the uh, Armour 3D Discord or on the forum because they've been quite repetitive.